Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvin, and we're going to switch it up a little bit and start off with a little bit of analog action. So I'm going to start with uh, explaining uh, different kinds of mediums that we use to draw. And uh, what I'm doing here is drawing with a normal, nothing fancy, just a normal felt tip pen. Uh, this one in particular, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a Bic. I just took it was just something that uh, I was using at work. And I was like, hey, this is kind of nice. It's it's got smooth registration, feels good. Um, I can get pretty nice line work out of it. So I thought, what the heck? Might as well go ahead and shoot a video with it. So that's what we're doing here. So what I'm doing is just laying down some quick sketch lines here. All I'm doing is just drawing the uh, front portion, the front three quarter. Uh, nothing fancy. But uh, I really uh, enjoy using this pen. And uh, the other thing I want to tell you is that what I'm doing right now is actually taking a lot of talent, believe it or not. <laughs> because I'm holding my droid. I've got my droid, my, uh, my droid phone, and I'm holding that on my left hand, and I'm drawing with my right hand and trying to keep it still. Uh, all the while, my son is bugging me about... Uh, putting the spoiler on this thing and I'm telling him well I, can, I don't have any space I'm just drawing the front three quarter view and he's not listening and he's kind of getting annoyed because no I want a spoiler and uh, you know how that goes and uh, if you don't uh, then you probably don't have kids but that's okay we're gonna keep going so this is filmed in real time we're gonna go through a couple of examples here and what I want you to pay attention to is how we continue to sort of draw through uh, our lines here. So I extend everything out. You've seen uh, in some of my previous videos where I talk about this. Well, it's really no different for any illustration or any kind of sketching that you're going to do, whatever the medium that you're going to be using. You want to continue the process of being able to draw very light-handed. Uh, sometimes it works, uh, you know, when you're working with maybe something like a felt tip uh, uh, pen or, or something like that. It's a little bit, I'll have to admit, it's a little bit harder to kind of control the line way because you know, as soon as you lay that down, that's what you get you're not going to be, it's not like you're going to be able to get uh, a lot of variation. Uh, ballpoint pens are uh, a lot better for that. You can vary your line weight and um, ballpoint pens are just are, are really awesome. And I'm going to show you another example. In fact, I'll, I'll probably do an overlay off of this uh, drawing here for another post and just uh, show you how to, or just draw on top of this and how to handle that ballpoint pen. Pretty cool stuff. Nonetheless, uh, it's still uh, nice for you to switch it up a little bit. You don't want to always use the same kind of mediums. Uh, you, you have to make sure that your drawing is effective with whatever medium that you're going to be use, using. Even a, a crayon, believe it or not. And I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do an example with a, with a, uh, with a crayon. I'm sure you're going to love that. <laughs> All right, another three quarter view sketch. Okay. Just move that mouse. I haven't sped anything up. I'm just going to lay down my construction lines. Uh, we're going to extend out the, the front a little bit. I have no plan on what kind of shape I'm going with. It's whatever I feel like at the moment this could be an absolute uh, sketch fail <laughs> but uh, hey you know maybe you'll learn something from it never know again uh, extending the lines as the camera is trying to regain a little bit of focus we get the headlamps here Oh yeah, the the other thing I wanted to talk about is when you are focusing on a particular area when you are drawing, uh, again, it, it helps you a little bit to 
uh, not get too intimidated by drawing the complete vehicle. In fact, it's actually better if you are designing uh, particularly maybe the front end of a, of a car. Uh, well, you don't have to draw the whole vehicle. In fact, you can fade the rest of the vehicle out. You don't have to draw all the details in. Uh, you can just focus on that front three quarter like I did right at the top. And then I could take the image from the top and then I can start to explore different kind of uh, grill uh, patterns or graphic or shapes, whatever it is, and then keep um, cranking some of those things out. So what that does is that uh, you're able to kind of focus just in that particular area and start to solidify maybe a design concept uh, before you start to work on the rest of it because the rest of it doesn't really matter. Got a nice uh, large grill shape just like the one at the top. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. I always have to be mindful when I'm making these videos because <laughs> you know when you start to clutter the drawing up with a lot of uh, with too much detail then you know it does take uh, a little bit more time for you to go through it and then uh, the rest of you have to sit there and watch it and I have to go to the headache of, of listening to myself talk and uh, I have to tell you that's kind of painful even for me I don't know what it's like for you but for me it's painful so the less time I can spend time talking and listening to myself the better better for me maybe bad for you I don't know <laughs> alright let's go get into the wheels another quick effective way of just drawing in some uh, quick loops to sort of indicate the, uh, the shape of what the spokes would be we just nail that stuff in there once again you, you can kinda see I'm pretty uh, light-handed by the way that mouse is uh, strategically placed because I'm like I said I'm holding this uh, my droid phone I have to uh, <laughs> make sure that any kind of line that I start to draw that the paper just doesn't slip out because I've got nothing really holding it down except for that mouse right now it's another reason why I don't want to draw too much stuff <laughs> at least for this example but it's kind of nice. I mean, it's a nice switch up from what you've been seeing me post uh, before because at least I'm able to uh, get a little bit of analog stuff here uh, than then, then putting in some of the digital work. But either way, I, I think the, the concepts and the lessons that you're learning are, are going to be pretty consistent, pretty much the same. All right, so I think we're we're getting pretty close. Now I'm just going to darken the uh, the inside of the spokes a little bit. And then we'll start to uh, add a little bit more value to the tire. And then I'll go ahead and throw in the ground plane and then darken the wheel on the opposite side. And we're going to be pretty much set after this. If you've got the How to Draw Cars DVD set, uh, you'll uh, learn some of these other principles with uh, sketching techniques and stuff like that. So. Well, I hope you like this. This is uh, pretty much it. Just finish up the the headlamp here. Okay, I've got some funky little things going on here in the front. I've just got the that fog lamp that's uh, doesn't seem to really relate to anything. But oh well, whatever. 
just cross hatch the reflection side of the reflections of the car and that should uh, that should do it maybe I'll fix that uh, fog lamp uh, on another sketch or something well hope you like this one and uh, we'll see you back here again drivenmavens.com have a good one